Hey everybody, I'm here today with the first installment in my How to Solve a Rubik's Cube series. So this series will basically be a few videos that show you the different steps involved in solving a Rubik's Cube. This one will be part one, this video will be part one, and it will show you the first step towards solving a Rubik's Cube. So as you can see here, before I can actually show you how to solve it, I have to just tell you a few things about the Rubik's Cube. There are six sides, and on each side, the center piece determines the color of that side. The centerpiece of this side is green, so this is the green side. The centerpiece of this side is white, this is the white side, and so forth. Um, the centerpieces can rotate, but they do not move. They can rotate, but they will not move. So they will always be in that same position, therefore they will always determine the color of that side. Okay, so um, basically when you are looking at a side, that is the front side. Whichever side you are looking at, that is the front side. And when I'm telling you to turn that side or to rotate it, it will be F. F means front. The one on the right is R, which is right. The one on the left is L. The one on the, the top is U for up. And the one on the bottom is D for down. So front right, left, up, down. There is also back, which is the one opposite of the front, but I don't use that when solving the Rubik's Cube. So let's say I were to be looking at it on the, it this way, this would be the front, right, left, up, down, back. Just like that. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. If I tell you to rotate F, that means rotate the front side 90 degrees clockwise. So if I say, if I'm looking at this side and I say F, rotate F, that's what you would do. You would rotate the front 90 degrees, clock, uh, 90 degrees clockwise. If I were to say to rotate the front inverted, so inverted F or F with a small I after it, then that means rotate the front side 90 degrees counterclockwise, just like that. Okay, if I were to say rotate R, that means you're going to rotate the right side clockwise if you were looking at R. So it's clockwise if you are facing the R. So this is right. Uh, if I said rotate R, it would be like that because that is clockwise. But if I said rotate L, then you would rotate clockwise L, which would be that way because that is clockwise according to the L. Okay, so that's basically it. So now I'm going to actually uh, mix up the Rubik's Cube. I'm going to randomize the Rubik's Cube and then I will show you how to solve it. Okay, so I am ready to show you how to solve it. I'll just mix it up a little bit more. Don't want any, uh, you know, any majorly connecting colors. Okay, so base, oh, sorry, there is one more thing that I forgot to tell you. If it says two and then a letter, so let's say it says two F, that means you have to rotate the front side twice, just like that. So you'd rotate it twice. If it said two U, then I would rotate the upside twice just like that. Okay, so let's get right to it. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to solve for the white cross. So to solve for the white cross, basically, um, I am always going to keep the white side on top. You can see that this has a white centerpiece, so this is the white side. That is always going to be on the top, and we are going to just, you know, change the side that we are facing depending on which color we are using. Okay, so Basically, um, we need to try and find uh, edge pieces, which are pieces with two colors, edge pieces that have white in them. So let's take a look right here. You can see that this edge piece has white and green. So this means that this edge piece belongs uh, in the spot that connects the white and green sides. So you can see here's the green side, 
here's the white side. So that white and green edge piece belongs right here. So we need to bring it over there. So I'm going to take this white edge piece and I'm going to bring it to the bottom layer. So if the white is on top, the bottom is going to be this layer right here. So I'm just going to rotate it and now it is in the layer that is sort of opposite to the white. There's the white layer at the top. This is the bottom layer. The white and green edge piece is in the bottom layer. Now I'm going to rotate it to the green side. Okay, and once again now I'm facing the green side. So the green side is the F side. And I'm just going to rotate F twice. So I'm going to do 2F to bring it to the top. 1, 2. And now if you look at up here, you can see that I have brought the white and green piece in the correct spot. It connects the white and green sides. We just have to repeat that process with the other white edge pieces. So if you see right here, we have a white and blue piece. So I'm going to bring it to the blue side on the bottom. This is the bottom of the blue side. I'm going to rotate F twice. So 2F. And all of these algorithms will be in the description of the video. Um, so please take a look there if you want some clarification. So I did 2F, but you can see that the white and blue edge piece is in the right spot but it is not oriented properly. It is flipped around. It needs to be opposite. White needs to be here and blue needs to be here. So there's a specific algorithm that you can do to switch this around. Now the algorithm is inverted front, up, inverted left, inverted up. So let's try that. Inverted front, which means 90 degrees counterclockwise front, up, which means rotate up 90 degrees clockwise, inverted left which means 90 degrees counterclockwise left and then inverted up which means 90 degrees counterclockwise up and as you can see we have brought the blue and white piece to the right position in the correct orientation now all that we need are these two final pieces right here so let's go ahead and find them uh, this is the orange and white piece and it is already on the orange side so I'm just gonna bring it to the bottom just like that and now I'm going to rotate F twice with the orange side. F twice. One, two. You can see that it's on top. And all that we need is one more piece to complete the white cross. So we need the red piece. If you take a look, here is the red piece right here. I'm going to spin it. Remember, the white is always on top. I'm going to spin it to the red side right there. Once again, white is on top. I'm going to rotate F on the red side twice. F twice. So two F one two and there you go we have the white cross now um there is a cor there is a white corner piece here um but that doesn't matter ignore any corner pieces that you see because i will be dealing with the white corner pieces in the next video right now all that you should see is the white cross i'm actually just gonna get that white corner piece out of the way just to make it less confusing so as you can see we have the white cross there's a white cross right here um, and you can just double check that um, all of the correct sides have been lined up with the white cross just like that okay so that is video number one in my how to solve a Rubik's Cube video um, in this video I've shown you how to solve for the white cross so this video is finished and I will see you in the next video to show you how to solve the white corner pieces and complete the entire white layer. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.